M0FXP Hamtech, welcome to my channel, TID Radio. If you've not heard of TID Radio, this is a couple of their products. On the left, we've got the TID Radio H8, which is a 10 watt radio. They come standard with USB-C charging, a cradle dock, also programming via Bluetooth. You can actually buy the TID Radio programmer, which looks like this for most radios. I mean, they will fit ordinary Bofeng radios and I've tested them on several different makes and models. This small little gadget here that you can see, it charges up using USB-C, has a built-in battery as well. Really neat little tool and not expensive. So you can buy these in Europe, USA, just from your usual vendors or you can just head for places like Amazon, AliExpress, you're gonna find them. So today we're looking at the TRD 10 watt version on the left. You can see what's included. They do come with 3000 milliamp hour batteries. As you can see, a nice manual with color photographs. Now this, this photograph on the left doesn't give it justice, to be honest, because the device, when you see it, when you're holding it, is, an, it is nicer quality and a clearer, better colors on the screen. So I, I really recommend these because you can pick them up Download the free app to your mobile phone, and as far as I can see, it's Android and iOS. I'm gonna to have to double check on that one. And if I find a video of it working, or if I do a demonstration on iOS with it working, I will make a video to show you, so I can't confirm that right, right now. All right, yes I can. <laughs> Did a, a little search on YouTube and there's Andreas M0FXB Hamtech making lots of videos using this programming device on iOS as you can see there. So the bands that it covers are VHF, UHF, Airband. It does say crossband intercom, not sure what that means. Wireless radio replication, so I'm guessing you can copy uh, frequency and memories across from one radio to another 2500 milliamp hour battery on the TID H3 model. The H3 model just here on the right has two or twin PTT. There's a button right on the front, blue button for Bluetooth, nice and simple, push that. And I've noticed that when you put this into airband, that it just goes straight to AM. Yes, it does have broadcast radio, they both do. Now, how do they compare side by side? Well, I would say that the TID-8, the 10 watt model, is a larger, chunkier device. The design is more akin to Motorola style radios, very nice. You've still got your Bluetooth button on the front here, it says BL, but it's, uh, it's not blue. I, if you look at the H3 model, which I actually prefer that design, but they're both very nice devices. It's smaller, chunkier. I don't know if you've ever seen the Elenco, Elenco D5 range. It's a small, chunky radio with a nice big battery, and this one has actually got the H3 has actually got two LEDs. You just look here and look here. Of course, we have a torch. If you hold down one of the buttons, you'll listen to broadcast radio. The other thing about this is because we have many radios and we like each radio to be different than the other. And the display on the TID radio is quite unique, uh, similar to, I would say, the TalkPod range. And you do have this thing where you're displaying the main channel that you're using and all the information like your tone and or, you know, your um, shift, lock, your power battery, you've got this signal meter along the top which does say power, but you're also, you're also showing your A and B band on the screen as well, and more information. And with the H3, they've gone down the road of the color buttons looking quite like the old Bofeng style, which you saw in this photograph here. If you look at the Bofeng, you can see that sort of classic orange and light blue button with a keypad. So I think these are a winner myself, um, I really do. The TID H3 in the UK, you'll, you'll, you'll get one of these delivered for under £30 and they cover a, a wide range of frequencies. Let me just read this info here. 50 to 76 megahertz, 76 to 108 megahertz, that's your broadcast. 108 to 136 and these do work on AM. 
one you know air band 136 to 174 that's going to cover your marine bands your ham bands vhf 174 to 350 350 to 400 megahertz 400 to 470 and 470 to 600 that's going to cover your gmrs pmr of course stay within your band conditions i think these are excellent specs it's a really good quality loud radio lots of buttons to press um, built-in torch large batteries so you know i completely like these radios and if i get a radio i buy a radio they don't send me these radios sometimes i get one but very rare they send me one <laughs> i don't know why because they seem to send everyone else a radio so just quickly going back to the tid h8 they do make these in in multiple colors as you can see there's one there that's clear we just end with their sort of promotional video it looks to me like the h3 model the smaller chunkier one covers more bands although the h8 does cover many bands vhf uhf pmr gmrs you may have to load different firmware depending on how you want to use the radio you might want to use it as a gmrs radio or you might want it as a full ham radio you just load different firmware yes of course you can get some free software for this device i mean these are really nice looking devices that's that's my honest personal opinion on it uh, you decide if you need it my choice with radios is if they're different if they have a different appeal if they're only about 30 pound to me i'd rather skip a trip to mcdonald's kentucky and have a radio that I've got forever that I can sell if, I, if I'm not happy with it. Or I can just pick it up whenever I feel like it. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I'll put the TID link in the description. And uh, let me know what you think. Bye for now, 7.3. Of course, I'll be testing both of these devices.